Welcome back to How to Fish, and today we're crabbing. There's no herring hunting on that day, so let's see what we can get. We definitely got skunked the last time we went out for crabs, but this time we're going to catch a few, and I'm going to try to make a Cajun butter garlic crab dish. So it turned out to be really, really delicious. Stay tuned to find out. And we got a little bit of underwater footage. So follow, like, and subscribe. Make sure to go to howtofish.com. Sign up to my new for the latest crabbing reports, halibut reports, as well as herring reports straight to your inbox. All right, shout out to Andy Outdoors. I'll link him in the description below. He gave me a sabiki rig. I got to catch some more bait. Hot, so let's get a jack smell. So just easy as that, guys. Catching live jack smelt and then cutting it up to use as fresh crab bait is one of the best ways to get some crabs. So that's exactly what I did. <laughs> and so we'll drop down this pond and we'll check in later. I wish I had a little better underwater footage, but as you can see, the current was kind of ripping that day. So I'm just cruising around. Uh, I already picked up a uh, first pot without the camera and uh, I got one keeper and it was uh, six and three quarter inches. So that's good. That's a lot better than uh, the last time I went crabbing uh, when I did get skunked. All right, let's see what I can get on this pot here. This one doesn't have the underground uh, underwater camera, but let's pull it up see what we got so yeah it turned out to be a small little dungeness and uh, you can just grab that and throw it right back All right, next up let's see what do we have all right we got a nice dungeness crab here and so in California you got to use a crab gauge and uh, you got to me measure the uh, width of the carapace and it's got to be a minimum of five and three quarter inches across. Uh, luckily, this crab here was six and a half. So again, a nice meaty uh, crab here. And that's number two. So I'm gonna pick up that underwater camera footage cage. And look at that, there's a sneaky red rock crab on the outside and that guy escapes but there is a smaller rock crab inside the cage it was a keeper size but i don't really like eating the rock crabs i don't like uh, the texture of the meat but uh, there are people who love them so it's really a personal choice and there was a smaller dungeon there so it was a tough day but not as tough as last time when i came out here at least i got two jumbos you could call them at least i got nice crabs uh, to take home so it's not all wasted uh, but yeah the glory days of getting those jackpots is definitely becoming more and more difficult but you know that's okay because now I can go home and make some Cajun butter crab stay tuned hey guys today I'm making Dungeness crab Cajun style with some garlic, some butter. We're gonna mix it up into some, with some potatoes, sausage, corn. Let's get going. I'm gonna teach you how to clean and dispatch the crabs really easily. So the first thing is, every crab has an apron, so you just wanna pull back this apron a little bit and then you just wanna go like that and it instantly kills the crab. Uh, next up, you just want to use a toothbrush and give these guys a nice rinse. And just clean them, get rid of the dirt. 
All right, next up, just gonna boil the crabs in heavily salted water. So you just want some kosher salt, put it in there and get it ready. Just gonna add some more salt like that. And so we'll wait for this to boil and uh, we'll put the crabs in there. So next up, you wanna have another boiling pot and you're gonna be putting in corn. You're gonna be putting in some potatoes. Just wanna cook all the seafood before we actually start to make the Cajun garlic um, sauce and incorporate that in. Uh, we're gonna put in some uh, sausage. I know this is sweet, usually you wanna put chorizo in there, but uh, I think this will still add some good flavor profile, so I'm just gonna heat these guys up. All right, so the water is boiling, and all we need to do is just put in the crabs. And you just wanna boil the crabs for about 10 minutes. All right, so our other uh, pot is ready to go, so just gonna salt it as well. And then add the corn in there. And then next up, add potatoes. So the sausages are pretty much ready. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna make some slices and cut them up. Remove these guys. So the crab looks about to be done. And uh, I just wanna take some tongs, remove them, put them on a plate like this. Wow, look at that beautiful red color. And then we're just gonna let these guys cool off a little bit. All right, so now it's time to clean off the crab, get it ready. This is its uh, carapace. If you reach underneath the carapace, oops, the legs are coming apart. Crack this a little bit open, just like that. And then um, these are the filters. You just want to remove that. It's quite hot. So just remove the filters. And then in the middle part too. And then the front beak as well. You can just peel that off like that. And then there's this little soft part. You can remove that too. You can rinse away this crab butter as well. Um, you can also eat the butter, but today we're just gonna rinse it off. Um, you can remove the apron here, so just peel that off. And there you go, there you have it. You have a pretty much clean crab. I think we'll do is we'll just split the crab in half here. So all you need to do is put your thumb in the middle and then crack it open like that. Now you got perfect half of a crab. The corn is re ready. So we will take out the corn. All right, so let's check the potatoes. I'm just putting a chopstick through here and just slides right through. So it's ready. Let's remove these guys and then we'll start making the Cajun garlic butter sauce. Let's go. All right, so I just poured out the uh, potatoes. Next thing you wanna do is get yourself a stick of butter. That's the first thing that we're gonna put in there and then we're gonna add some garlic this around a little bit. Now we're gonna add garlic. And make sure that the heat is medium so that the garlic doesn't burn. Next up, I got Old Bay, paprika, lemon pepper, brown sugar, 
cayenne, pepper, all of that. I'm gonna add it to this mix. Again, recipe is gonna be linked in the description below. Wow, look at that beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful color. All right, great. And now we're gonna start adding back all the veggies. Slice the potatoes. Make sure all the sauces get in. So I'm just slice the potatoes real quick. Just slicing them in half. Slice these guys in half. And then the last thing I want to put in there is the crab. So I'm just ripping off the legs. Oh yeah, look at this. This is looking delicious. Give this a good stir. extra Cajun butter sauce on the side so that I can drizzle it over the crab. So I made myself a little small plate and basically that's sauce that I put. Let's just drizzle some of that. Oh my god. Look at that. This looks amazing. Let's give this a nice little taste test. See how it is. Mmm. Mm. The sweetness of the crab goes perfectly with that Old Bay Cajun kind of acidic taste. Mm. This is just what I needed. Follow, like, and subscribe.